My name is Charles J. Shields. I'm the author of The Man Who Wrote the Perfect Novel, John Williams, Stoner, and The Writing Life. I want to tell you a story. It's about the challenge of finding your identity, knowing who you are. This story is about novelist John Williams, the subject of my biography, and how, when John Williams was a little boy, his mother told him he wasn't John Williams. Not really. John was born in Clarksville, Texas, a little town near the Red River in 1922. When he was still a baby, his parents moved to Wichita Falls. Wichita Falls was a boom town then. There were fortunes being made drilling for oil. John's father put together some money. He purchased a share in an oil field, and then, a few weeks later, he sold it at a profit. But he made a mistake. He bragged about the money in his pocket to a hitchhiker he picked up along the road. The hitchhiker robbed him and shot him dead. Years later, John's mother told him about the murder and the secret of his birth. His real name was John Jewell, same as his father's. His stepfather was named Williams. And his little sister? She was really his half-sister. John didn't know this until he was nine. In fairy tales, a character finding out they're actually someone else sends the person on a journey, a journey to find out who they are. And so it was with John Williams. My biography, The Man Who Wrote the Perfect Novel, is about the journey that John Williams undertook, and how he used the search for his identity to write fiction. All of his novels have at their center a protagonist on the way to discovering who he really is. There's Butcher's Crossing. It's about a young man going out west for adventure. And Augustus, a novel about a teenage boy, Julius Caesar's adopted nephew, who becomes Rome's greatest emperor. And finally, Stoner, which has been called the perfect novel. It's about an unhappy college professor, Bill Stoner, who falls in love with a graduate student. Some people think Stoner is a very sad story because of how it ends. John Williams disagreed. He said, I give Professor Stoner more than he has had before, and more than any of us ever gain, his own identity. That's what John Williams, born John Jewell, was looking for, what many of us hope to discover about ourselves, who we really are, and it's the theme of the man who wrote the perfect novel.